Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can fix Valorant crashing on Windows 11. So first thing you gotta do guys is launch Valorant. Once you launch Valorant, just press Windows plus D to go back to here to the Windows. Now then go to the uh, start menu, then go to the search bar and search for task manager. Once you're here in the task manager, it will look like this. And as you can see guys, this is Valorant and you're gonna see the usage of the CPU, the usage of the memory and the disk and network. So once you're here, just make sure you go here to the uh, this uh, open navigation. Once you're here in open navigation, just go down to performance. And you can check here all of your uh, usage and then go to details. And as you can see guys, here you're gonna find all of the details of the task that you're running. Just search here for Valorant. Scroll down until you find Valorant. This is uh, the Riot client services. Just go down until you find Valorant. As you can see guys, here in Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe, just click, uh, right click, and then go to set priority and set your priority to high priority and do the same thing here to environment.exe just click right click and go up to set priority and set your priority to high and then exit the task manager once you finish those steps just go then to your start menu again and search for settings Once you're here in the settings, just go to the search bar and search for graphics settings. Once you're here in the graphics settings, just search for uh, Valorant. As you can see guys, this is Valorant. Or if you didn't find it here, just click on browse and search for the location of Valorant. It's gonna be in Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64. You're gonna find Valorant Win64, then just select it and click on Add. For me, it's already added, so once you add it, just go to Options and then go to Select High Performance and then click on Save. Once you've saved everything, just click X and then go back to Valorant and then go to settings, exit, then exit to desktop, and then make sure you restart your PC. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.